Hello. In this video, I will show you how to install Mobile Pedestrian System and set up the example scene that comes with the package. As you can see, I have here an empty project with just Mobile Pedestrian System added. To configure the package, navigate to Tools, Glay, Pedestrian System. This will open the settings window. Using the asset requires the burst compiler. To install it, open the Import Required Packages menu and press Install All. This will install the latest version of the burst compiler. When the installation finishes, a message will be displayed inside the console. It is recommended to use the burst compiler that is verified for your Unity version. To check that, open the Package Manager and verify if the current version appears with green. Now it is time to set up the project layers. To do that, go to Project Settings, Tags, and Layers. We did not include any presets for the layers, so you'll have to name them yourself. To follow along, use the same names, but this is not required. I will explain in a following tutorial how to use the layers inside your project. For testing the demo scene, this is enough. I do not want to make this part too complicated. After you assign the names to your layers, Open the scene setup and then layer setup and make sure the layers are properly assigned there. For me, the pedestrian layer is wrong, so I will change it to the proper one using the layer mask. Navigate back and you are now set to test the demo scene. Navigate to Assets, Pedestrian System, Example, and open the pedestrian example scene. Select the script holder object and notice that the package is already set up inside this scene. I will provide more details about the pedestrian system component in a following video. With the scene open, the last thing to do is to press the Apply Settings button. This will initialize the plugin and set up the scene. After the saving process ends, you can test the scene by pressing the Play button. The pedestrians will start moving. But if you look closely, this strange thing might happen. Two pedestrians will start to rotate around each other. This is nothing to worry about. Applying a fix for this is very easy. If you open a pedestrian prefab, you'll notice that it has a box collider tilted at the bottom of it. This is a workaround to make the pedestrians to climb the sidewalk border. Now comes in place that foot collider layer created earlier. As you can see, this collider is the only object placed on that layer, and using the layer's matrix, I'll make that layer to interact only with the road by turning off all other checkboxes. It is important to not collide with itself. If you test again, the issue is gone. If you move to the game window, you can use the arrow keys to drive the car around and check the pedestrian's behavior. I recommend you to hit some of them. Follow our other tutorials for a complete set of integration instruction. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.